Our project was motivated by the military's use of unmanned ground vehicles, otherwise known as UGVs, for scouting purposes. During such missions, the UGVs tend to roll over during high-speed maneuvers. This poses a risk to soldiers if they attempt to retrieve the UGV from hostile territory or results in a loss of money if the UGV is left behind. Consequently, our sponsors have asked us to design a manipulator arm that mimics the function of arms on existing UGVs, such as grabbing IEDs to dynamically shift the weight of the vehicle during a turn, thereby preventing a rollover. We chose to do a two-bar linkage, which allows us to keep the center of mass lower in the home position, but extend the arm out relatively far when we're turning to counteract torques. We have attached the two-bar linkage to the base by using a turntable and L bracket. So the turntable is acting as a bearing to give the bottom servo extra support, and then all of that is attached to the upper base plate. And then this plate attaches to the lower base plate, which is the only part of our design that actually attaches to the car. So the only alterations that we did to the car is drill four holes into the chassis. And then at the back, we have the batteries housed um, at the top of the suspension. The electrical system com consists of our sensors, our controller, our actuators, and our power supplies. Our controller is a Raspberry Pi. It is a small computer that runs a stripped-down version of Linux. Using this as opposed to a more traditional microcontroller allows us um, greater flexibility when we're designing our control system. For our sensor, we're using a six degree of freedom inertial measurement unit. Um, this allows us to measure all of our accelerations and our roll rates. Our actuators are Dynamexel servos. We use two MX28 servos and a single MX64 servo. Uh, the only difference being the amount of torque that they provide. These servos allow us to have very precise control over the, um, over the torque applied, the speed, and the angle, angular position of the joint. Due to the complexity of our project, we have several different programs running in four different languages. And so to help facilitate the uh, communication between these programs, we use a system called LCM. It stands for Lightweight Communications and Marshalling and it allows us to pass data structures between programs and over a network. It also allows us to log data in real time and play it back later for analysis. This footage was taken from when we were testing our prototype. Our track consisted of an 11 foot turn radius that we tried to keep our car on when testing. We initially tested our prototype with the manipulator arm held in the home position. We then tested our prototype with the arm shifting to prevent rollover. Our tests indicated the arm reduced the roll angle by approximately 10 degrees.